All right, guys, how's it going? We've got a couple of uh, nice little slip joint knives here from Rosecraft Blades, and we got the Clinch River Swayback. Beautiful knife. Hey, look at the shape of that thing. Awesome thing to look at. Not a small knife either. It's a pretty decent size. And let's take a quick measure. Now these are seconds, so they have a fault with them of some sort or other. We're just over 7 inches here, 7.125 of an inch with a 3.125. Beautiful Warncliffe blade here and it's in D2, polished D2. Nice wedge here, come razor sharp. We have a uh, thumbnail pull there. Let's have a quick look at the action on this one. Yeah, very nice, nice action on this one. Now this one, this is exactly as it came. Nice blade centering. I didn't do anything to this one. Now the other faults I can see is on the pin there. It's, it's, it's a bit indented, you can see that. Especially when you catch it in the light, just right. And on the back. Um, now the blade centering is pretty good. And really there isn't there there isn't a great deal I can see wrong with it, like a hairline on the back spring, maybe hairline gap. Listen to that sound. These are all about the sound. Lovely deep finger choil there. It's a great looking knife this. At the minute they're sold out of these and uh, that's why I ended up going for the seconds. And the seconds are about just under half price. This is uh, 56 bucks uh, for a one with no faults at all, with zero faults, you know, 56 bucks. Uh, trying to see what else is wrong with this one. There's a little bit of scuff marking on the inside here, there, a little bit. I mean, the transition from the bone, look at the colour of that bone. The, the colours in the bone from uh, Rosecraft is awesome. Uh, this is designed by Andy Armstrong himself. It's an awesome design, I love it. Alright, let's take a look at the other one. Let's keep that there. Now this one, this one, uh, let me tell you, here's the boxes. Nice boxes. Pull tab, yeah, very nice. Now when I say, saw this on there, bad, my heart sunk a little, but uh, and this was the bad one. Now, I've done a little bit of work to it. Now, listen to that. Perfect, right? But when I first got it, I mean, blade, blade centering's pretty good. Uh, zero gapping. I mean, there really was no gapping because when I got this, I could barely open it. Barely open it. I was, had to heave this blade out. And there was no half stop when I heaved it out. I just had to drag it out. So it was super tight, which is pretty dangerous, really. Um, you can cut yourself. It got me a couple of times. <laughs> but what I did is I just sat watching TV and I got a vice on my lap, wrapped the blade, and I just worked it. Worked it, worked it, put a bit of oil on, worked it like that, non-stop. Well, pretty much non-stop. The bolster was getting super hot because of the friction. Yeah, and eventually it came, like, I don't know, thousand times or something probably but eventually it come and look I've got this awesome action now yeah beautiful action sounds great yeah so it took a bit of work um would I buy it again and do it again yeah I would I'll, I like tinkering with knives so if you don't mind tinkering I mean this one I didn't have to tinker with at all it's just uh, been returned for probably the the pain and uh, maybe the little mark inside there, nothing much. I mean, a couple of beautiful knives, to me at a bargain price, just a bit of an afternoon fiddling around with them. But uh, well worth it to me. So I, I had a really good experience buying these seconds, and I just wanted to do a quick video just to let you guys see what, what I got, what I, what I dealt with and uh, my experience so if any of you guys are thinking about getting the seconds 
yeah I would recommend it going on my experience all right thanks for watching guys love these knives a couple of awesome knives <laughs> look at them beauties all right thanks for watching catch you later guys <laughs>